Sloofy VR, from once being one of the largest room creators and Rectubers, to completely vanishing and faking their death. You're probably wondering why. Why would such a successful person vanish without any say? On March 20th, 2018, Floofy VR would register their Rec Room account. In this time period, they'd be no different than the thousands of players Rec Room had. They would become a Rec Room game developer, to which they came to instant success. Floofy VR had also taken up streaming Rec Room to their YouTube channel, usually going through miscellaneous events or playing public games. Cut to around September of 2021, Floofy VR was streaming Rec Room and going into public events one of which would be a game called Colors Parkour. In this game, Floofy VR would meet the user Yadums, the owner of the map, and El Shides, a moderator for the map. Now it's October 1st, 2021. Yadums and his friend El Shides would create a game called Squid Game Glass, to which it instantly became popular, gaining 60,000 tokens per week. One day, however, Yadums would lose his ability to create events, to which Floofy stepped in saying that they would create and promote events for the game while Yodums' abilities were gone. Yodums accepted the offer and for a while everything seemed fine. However, once Yodums got the ability to create events back, he removed Floofy's permissions. Floofy hated this, to which they would manipulate El Shies and guilt trip him by not speaking to him and giving him the cold shoulder. This led El Shies to tell Yodums to give back the room permissions to Floofy VR to which Yadums agreed to. Now in November of 2021, this is where the story starts to turn bad. Floofy VR, who was a legal adult at the time, started to make lewd remarks to El Shides, who at the time was 13 years old. Floofy VR knew that this was illegal, but it didn't matter to them. El Shides was not the only person to be groomed by Floofy VR, with the most notable one being a user called Wither. In December of 2021, Yodums and his co-creator Rock Lee made a game called Survive IKEA. This game would be very successful, earning 200,000 to 600,000 tokens a week. Floofy would start to see their earnings and guilt trip Yodums and Rock Lee out of their tokens over the time of their friendship. Not only this, but Floofy VR would tell El Shies that the age of consent in England was 13. And further yet, Floofy VR would send NSFW pictures to El Shies of their furry persona having sex. At this time, El Shies would realize that they were being groomed by Floofy VR and unfriended them out of fear and guilt. February 2022, Floofy would make a map related to the League of Heroes event which was going on at Rec Room at the time. The point of the map was to get people to spend tokens to add the points to their favorite League of Heroes team and eventually the team with the most points would win. Floofy would end up guilt tripping Yodums into spending all of his tokens in the map during an event in the room. Yodums ended up spending 700,000 tokens on the room which all went to Floofy VR. 9 months after El Shies blocked Floofy VR, Yodums would also come to the realization that Floofy VR was a pedophile and manipulated him out of millions of tokens. But as of now, Floofy VR has been assumed to be dead. But I can safely say that's false. When searching up Floofy VR on Google, you'll be sent to a website that said Floofy VR killed herself after rebranding her channel. But this is likely to be untrue. When searching up Floofy VR on YouTube, you can find a video of a person donating to Floofy VR on Roblox. When looking for Floofy VR's Roblox account, I found an account called It's Posy. This account also turns out to have the previous name of Floofy VR. The thing about Roblox accounts, however, is that you can see when a user was last online. So it went to a game that shows when a user was last online, and it said that they were online as recently as one week ago. Currently, however, the Floofy VR channel has been rebranded to Gaming with Fur, and the current owner is another Rec Room YouTuber called Happy Elf. When asking Happy Elf about the situation, they denied everything and chose not to talk to me. I believe the reason why Happy Elf was given this channel was to cover up the actions of Floofy VR, but I can't confirm. Also, just so you know, Gaming with Fur has 6,000 more subscribers than us at the time this video releases, so go ahead and subscribe. And just so you know, they bought it all their subs. But let this serve as a reminder that Rec Room isn't as safe as you think. Normal.